Hey, ich bin's. Hey, buenos dias. Why, Daga Ho. Hey, dear viewer, greetings. Um, so what I want to discuss with you today is uh, what my plans are for this channel going forward. Oh, fuck. Hey, dear viewer, greetings. Um, so what I want to discuss with you today is what my plans are for this channel. Um, going forward and I guess let's talk about why I even do YouTube back in the day or like there was a certain time where I used to watch a lot of productivity videos uh, for example by like the OG Thomas Frank or uh, Matt Davella, Ali Abdal etc yeah I, I guess those were like really helpful as you know as a student when I watched those videos I thought you know I could do something like that as well what made me realize that I can do YouTube as well was when I watched like these A Day in My Life videos from by like Ella Choi or John Fish. I mean, those were kind of more personal. It wasn't just, um, you know, here are some tips on how to be a better student or something, but those were like more of a journey and more personal. And I think with that, I can really bring my unique perspective to the online, online world, I guess. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately, I kind of never did. Um, I, w I was, I just thought like, I can do it later, right? <laughs> and by the time later kicked in, the Corona pandemic hit. It was just unbelievable. But yeah, so <laughs> what I actually wanted to film, like I think you guys saw my video, right? A day in my life. Um, a tomb, um, you can watch it here if you want, <laughs> um, you probably did right? If you didn't then dude, watch it, or girl, watch it, oh fuck. Yeah, um, as you can see from the video, it was during the pandemic and you couldn't really see the buzzing campus life because obviously everyone was like, you know, having home office and yeah, I couldn't even enter like, um, the library for example which is like you know very modern and big so it would have been really cool to film inside but I couldn't I guess in general it just was um, well it was kind of different <laughs> from what it could have been uh, but I guess in the end I, I still pulled through and I still filmed it and I think it turned out pretty great um, I received positive response for sure and I'm really happy about it uh, thank you guys but oh boy that took a ridiculous amount of time like organization wise and like from the folders files pretty messy but yeah i guess anyways i mean i i did continue uh editing like i don't know like almost a year after i filmed it actually okay now that we have talked about the the past basically uh let's talk about the present like what's on my plate right now what's you know what am I thinking about? So, like, what are the current things going on in my life that kind of affect the video creation process? Well, I launched my A Day in My Life video, like, uh, within the month where I finished my exams. Yeah, so I, I still had a lot of stuff to do, but I finished it. But after that, I kind of felt like, okay, wow, that was uh, quite some work. I guess I deserve a break now, so I'm just going to do something else. And I did, I just kind of watched the video reception grow and, you know, see, enjoy the engagement uh, on the video. And I, yeah, I guess I did a lot of programming. Yeah, actually in the video I, I mentioned that I was doing the CS50 Harvard course. Um, yeah, it's really, really great. So the last project I worked on, or like the last problem set was basically developing a, or building a web application where you can uh, register as a user, log in and you know, buy and sell stocks, like, with real-time prices um, through an API, and yeah, I guess I did that, um, and also incorporated like a personal touch, like being able to change the theme, and deploying it on Heroku, um, so you can access it as well, uh, but unfortunately, like, there were some, like, compatibility issues because I was working on the on an IDE and then uh, Heroku doesn't accept like you know the SQLite 
okay, I'm, I'm okay. I'm just okay. <laughs> I'm talking too too much about the details. You probably don't even get it, or at least a lot of you. Uh, anyways, that whole process took like 24 hours, um, including my personal touch. It would be like 35 hours or something. Um, so yeah, um, that was really time consuming. Um, it's I still have to do my final project, which is which could be anything. Um, and I'm really thinking about what, what I'm supposed to do about that with that. Like, it's supposed to be a big project, so yeah. Okay, what I'm trying to say is that there's a lot of a lot on my plate. Um, so imagine this is my my plate, you know. I of course also have like a lot of university stuff I have to do. Um, so I have my project study um, with a robotics startup in Munich coming up. I would do that full time, three months, like business development stuff. But I also have a job offer um, at Accenture. I will work as a new associate and it's more of a technical role, so it's like, so add this to my plate. And then, you know, maybe I'm just taking too much on, honestly, um, because these are all gonna take a lot of hours per week. Um, and like, honestly, I just wanna do so many different things like i want to for example i would like to try out like for example 3d art or something like that would be so cool um and then like i would also like to you know join a student organization maybe like you know like uh, some student consultancy like 180d or like start munich or something and you know get to cool people but also gain practical experience but you know <laughs> we only have a finite amount of time and oh yeah and also <laughs> I want to do, I forgot to put like the video projects on my plate, but anyways, you get the point. Um, you only have a finite amount of time, and as Warren Buffett, I think, already mentioned or something, uh, you can only focus on so many things in your life. If you want to be really good at a few things, you know, the few things on my plate that I kind of uh, need to balance. Um, so I guess, first of all, I want to do well in my studies. My second focus would be to do well in my job, um, you know, to deliver good results. And third, I want to be able to, you know, practice and sharpen my programming skills. Um, and then fourth, I want to be, I guess, keep making these videos. Yeah, this is really something that I really need to have discipline for. Like, I really need to be consistent. It's so difficult, but like, I think it's, um, worth it or yeah it's I feel like this might be the most difficult to do but anyways and for fifth I guess they're healthy and fit um, but yeah now that we've covered you know what's on my plate um, let's talk about the videos what are plans I mean it's a personal channel it's not a channel about a particular topic like educational robotics videos or something, or something so I can go into many different but I myself of course also have like some niche focuses so like potentially it has to do something with student life like vlogs Hey guys so uh, <laughs> <laughs> so let's go just no? in the church we are in Munich in cool church let's go look at the doors wow. I ain't got sure we can film inside, but maybe I should just like support So annoying that they And they were found that they they cheated. Also, I like photography, videography, 
So maybe expect cool cinematics. Uh, I love startups, so maybe I'll talk about you know some cool startups. Um, maybe even invite like guests um, to you know discuss something like that. Um, I can definitely tap into like the Tomb ecosystem, you know, which is really a strong um, uh, ecosystem. It's also based in Munich. Yeah, uh, but of course I'm not limited to to Tomb in Munich only. Um, I also know some others. Or perhaps I will talk about uh, um, talk about my or showcase my programming progress. Um, I'm not really a pro, you know, but um, I can still show something like. Okay, I also like topics surrounding productivity, I guess, um, sort of. So maybe like there are some hacks I can introduce um, that might be helpful for some students out there. Plus, I like reading books as well. Actually, you can go to my Goodreads um, profile, or like go to my website, you will see that. I'm also having like a public reading list, so you can check it out if you want. But yeah, maybe you can do like some book summaries, book reviews. Now, maybe something exciting, like a challenge, would be pretty cool, I think. Because, you know, it's so hard to be, you know, consistent and disciplined to actually film myself. And, you know, there's also like some sort of barrier, like filming yourself, I mean. That's, that's a little bit weird, <laughs> right? So, like, maybe you guys can set a really cool challenge and, like, if I lose, it's like a bet, right? And if I don't keep my word or something, then I have to do something for you guys. What do you want? Maybe you want monetary, <laughs> something monetary, some some kind of leverage. And I feel like that would be pretty cool. Like if I don't film a video every week for a month, one of you guys will get 50 euro or something. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, just just any channels. It can be a creative challenge or anything. So yeah, that sounds fun, right? And daunting. I guess that's kind of it, to be honest. Yeah.